it's Judy from Happy Holistics. Here's a short video on how to make the easiest health shake ever. Here's what you'll need. Kefir. Emergent sea powder. I prefer acai berry flavor. Here's how to make it. Pour half a cup of plain kefir. Then add in one package of emergency powder. I'll leave the link below on where you can get it. Then use a fork to combine. I recommended emergency for the electrolytes, vitamins, and antioxidants. Stuff you don't get in regular drink mixes. So now that you know how to make it, you may be wondering, well, if milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard, what does kefir bring? Hold on, let me check. I'm going to go out into the yard and see if it brought me any buff men. Unfortunately, no buff men. However, there are benefits to kefir. Kefir has lots of good bacteria. We're talking about 50 strains and 30 billion active cultures. Unlike yogurt cultures, kefir bacteria actually survives in the gut and contributes to long-term wellness. It's also very good to use after antibiotics to replenish the supply. It also contains lots of beneficial yeast. It crowds up the bad guys that cause infections and candidiasis supports the immune system, and similar to the bacteria, it also lives in your gut. With all of the happy bacteria and happy yeast, you can expect improved digestion. People with dairy sensitivities and lactose intolerance are said to be okay taking kefir because the milk sugars are pre-digested. So if you take a look at the sugar content in milk, yogurt, and kefir, you'll notice that there's significantly less sugar in the kefir because the active cultures have gobbled up the sugars and made it into a form that's easier for your body to digest and utilize. Once the probiotics colonize your intestines, they help make vitamin K and certain B vitamins. This is in addition to the calcium, magnesium, potassium, and other nutrients kefir itself provides. Lastly, I was reading Healthy at 100 by John Robbins, who said that in some of the longest living societies on earth, their people drink fermented milk on a daily basis. Obviously, this is just one lifestyle factor and others come into play, but it doesn't hurt to try some. If you want to have a look at the book yourself, I've left the link below. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you did. See you next week.